Hey fellow YouTubers, it's uh, me, uh, John Lavelle. Listen, I want to tell you uh, cat owners, uh, be careful when you're owning a cat. And I'll tell you what happened to me. Uh, cats can actually, they can kill you. And uh, I'll tell you what happened to me. I had a cat and uh, I had him on a, a harness, like a, a collar with a line to it. I let him out the door there because I didn't want him wandering off. And uh, that was a male cat. It was in the middle of the summer. And I noted when I went to the door, he got caught on the, on the lower part of a small tree I had sitting on the... Uh, patio so I went out to get him uh, his collar was actually caught the line had got around the tree one of the small tree branch he was kind of stuck there so I went out to uh, help him and uh, as I was trying to get the collar off he basically flipped around and got himself on my arm he just nailed his uh, uh, he just stuck his front claws right into me and hung on he was actually biting me because he was just uh, I don't know what was wrong with him and uh, and kicking with his back legs just ripping the skin and uh, I'll tell you something I couldn't even get him off of me I did everything I could to get this cat off he was just stuck to me like glue and ripping the flesh open and everything so uh, I eventually did get him off me and um Actually, I had to go to the hospital because of all the rip marks in the skin, which they uh, they sewed up and they bandaged it. Now, here's the point of why I'm telling you this. Uh, several weeks later, I started not feel good, and uh, things were changing. And um, one of the things happened: I started losing my appetite. Like I got a good appetite, and. Uh, I started losing. I started losing interest in food. I, didn't, I, I was skipping meals. I didn't want to eat anymore, uh, and it just got worse and worse. Where the thought of food was making me sick, and uh, I actually went out and bought the stuff that, uh, well, I guess, my favorite food was um, egg rolls. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go out and get some egg rolls and uh, see if I can get that down my throat. So I went and bought six egg rolls. It cost me a boodle to buy them. I think they were like a dollar fifty each or some stupid thing. But anyways, uh, I bit into the first one. I chewed on it and then I spit it out. I, you know, I don't know what. I couldn't taste it. My the taste wasn't there. Nothing was there. It's like I was eating, chewing on some type of a chemical or something. And uh, there was nothing wrong with the egg rolls. They were fine. It was me. And. Uh, Anyways, I was getting sicker and sicker, and I was losing weight really, really quickly, and uh, I ended up with a, my leg, my left leg ended up uh, swelling up, and my hand swelled up, my hand got, uh, this was, hand was never touched by the cat, but anyways, it got so swollen up I couldn't even bend my fingers or my wrist, it was just, the hand and the wrist were finished. Uh, and my foot was swelling up and it started to produce uh, ulcers. And uh, so one, uh, one of those nights there, about three weeks, I guess, after the cat had scratched me, I, had f I fell down in the middle of the night in the kitchen. And I was, uh, at this point, too weak to get up. So I had to worm my way across the uh, room into the living room and try and find a uh, phone. It was a whole ordeal. It took me two hours to get a phone and I finally got an ambulance and I didn't really want to go to the hospital. I just wanted them to stand me up because I couldn't get up. I was going to go back to bed. I was tired. So they came and anyways they ended up taking me to the hospital and uh, when I was there they did some blood tests and found I had infection all over my body and I had a really really serious serious blood infection that was up in the brain. Now, I knew there was something wrong because my head wasn't working right. I, I don't have mental issues. And I was starting to feel like, uh, wow, I'm losing my mind too. And uh, so I had to remain there. And uh, I was constantly being reported by doctors who were there that uh, how close to death I am. 
basically dying and uh, I had to take anybody I was there for a, over a month and I had to take antibiotics intravenously different types that were just trying to kill everything that was in there <coughs> trying their best to get this thing under control and uh, the tragedy was is I ended up actually losing my leg it had to be amputated that's how bad this infection got and uh, this was all caused by getting scratched by this by a cat now you've probably heard the term cat scratch fever that's basically what I had uh, cats I don't know what they have under their nails but uh, I'm warning you be careful that your cat does not scratch you because you can die from it I almost died uh, I did manage to get through this thing but I lost my leg I mean this is a price so great uh, I can't tell you now I'm crippled for the rest of my life I can't walk I use crutches but uh, uh, so anyways uh, I wanted to share that with you not because uh, I want to tell you anything about my life but I want, I'm warning you just uh, you know, be careful when you have a cat and make sure your kids are safe from I mean you can go get their nails pulled or do something but I remember they have I don't know what they have in their nails but uh, like I've so a friend of mine's uh, cat goes out and uh, goes after these like small bunnies and that and uh, I've actually got them the bunny before the cat actually killed the bunny and uh, I almost can't you can't find any marks on the body but uh, I take them to the uh, the, the uh, animal shelter and I phone them the next day and find out they're dead because they got scratched by the cat it's, it's like some type of a venom underneath the nails or something it acts like that uh, so that's what I want to do is I just want to warn you about cats be very very careful if you own one that you don't get scratched See ya. Bye.